First of all, talk to me about the new album. It's <clears throat> uh, well, about a month or so, right now. It's coming out uh, September sixteenth. Yes. Um, well, I gotta say, I'm really excited about it because for a minute, well, we started. Let's start at the beginning. We started recording this back in nineteen uh, September of nineteen, which is you know, mm. September of nineteen twenty twenty one, three years ago, almost, and. Uh, you know, after 20 and 21, uh, just for a minute, it felt like, is this thing ever going to come out, you know? Yeah. So at the beginning of this year, we we were working logistics with the label, with, with Michael. And uh, even at the beginning of the year, by March, April, we didn't know what we were doing, what, what was going to happen. And so I'm glad we uh, we decided to, the label uh, decided to release it, you know? <clears throat> so... So when that started happening, and we re they released the first single, uh, uh, the the response was just over the. It was great, mm. to be honest, <clears throat> more than more than expected. Uh, and then uh, the second single came out. Uh, Take it to the limit was the first one. A lot of love, a lot of hits, a lot of stuff. And then uh, shoot for the stars, uh, mm. also got a lot of thumbs up and all that. And now the third one just came out, New Direction, which is the title cut for the album. Yes. Yeah. And everybody seems to dig it. So I'm really happy, man. I mean, what can I tell you? After, you know, after Ground Zero <laughs> to uh, we have a release of the album. I have some dates to announce, which oh, will nice. come out, which will come out here in the next couple of days at the, at the end of this week. Yeah. By, oh, the, week, cool. by, the, by the weekend, including the UK. Oh, so. Nice. I'm I'm excited about that, and uh, hopefully, we're headed in a new direction. Meaning, we're uh, no pun intended, but we're trying to find our way back home. If you know what I mean. Uh, av after losing our way somewhere, our industry, as you well know, got hit really hard. Joe, you know. Yeah. I I, I think our industry got hit the hardest. So. Uh, so there's specks of uh, light at the end of the tunnel, and it's a lot of hope and a lot of uh, optimism. And uh, I mean, uh, there still remains uh, uh, a lot of question marks everywhere. The venues took a hit. Yeah, the, definitely. But the fans are a little skeptical about buying tickets. You know, uh, 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 you know, pre-sale tickets are are a, a thing of a concern for the venues, for the promoters, yeah. for the agents, for the artists. Uh, but there's a lot of people that still believe in in uh, supporting live music. So I, I keep saying that, you know, it's not going to happen by itself. You need to learn to roll the dice and believe yeah, in it exactly. and start, start bringing it back. So I'm excited, man, to say the least. And, uh, uh, you know, I was kind of, forced to kind of listen to the album and listen to the songs now and i'm like i'm really proud of it what soren and i did is mm. it's a it's a good album man and there's some decent songs and uh live you know we've been playing i've been trying not to play too much of the new music until the the album release but yes. we, we've been playing take it to the limit and the crowd just goes bananas so what can i tell you mm. my my guys you know that are playing with me uh love it they love playing that song is one of their favorites so so we're headed in the right direction. Yeah. You, you know, that's what I can tell you about this album. And uh, there's some nice music there. So I'm very proud of it. Mm. Um, and would you say it's kind of a new direction in terms of the sound as well? Or is it much different to kind of the previous album? Uh, well, I, I think if we had... It's a trip, man. In our industry, we started labeling everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, okay, this is... Uh, this is hard rock and this is classic rock and this is metal and this is hard metal and this is black metal and this is white metal and speed metal and this that, that, that. uh and then at the bottom of, of it all in my opinion there's pop pop music mm. which back back in the day the people i grew up listening to my favorite bands were you know had songs on the radio so it was there were pop songs creed and clearwater revival Deep Purple, yeah. White White Snake, Ted Nugent, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, 
they were playing music on the radio. So for me, that's what pop represented. Then as we started getting you know, into the 70s and the 80s, we started labeling things and I get it, it's fine. But I would think, and I would say, if we had to label it, I think we're leaning more on the songwriting, the pop side of music, if okay. you will, which is, which is fine. Soren is a big fan of songwriting and he's a great producer and, mm -hmm. uh, and a, a magnificent player. Uh, uh, and so, so I'm, I'm a fan of songwriting too. So uh, to team up with him, I think there is, a, the new direction is that we found a direction again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because we, like I said earlier, we lost our way somewhere. Uh, and and for a moment, it was pretty pretty grim, man. It was looking like oh yeah, the, the world came to to a, a screeching halt, and we didn't know when it was going to start. And there was a few false starts here and there. Remember? Yeah, I, I I remember even in the UK, it was like, let's go. No, we're not going. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I we're think closing I, down. I went to a couple of gigs, kind of what mid. 2020 yeah. something like that just like all separated out you had to sit down all the air uh, was weird yeah yeah i'll tell you last year at, uh september uh, september Oct september october and a little bit of november last year i ended up rolling the dice again and uh, i got invited to do this do that and with all the restrictions with all the the mask wearing and all the sitting yeah. down, uh, you know, and 50% capacity and 30% and that, that, that. We had a successful tour. Oh, nice. Mm. And that's what, that's what gave me a little more gas in the tank to say, hey, there's, you know, there's a lot of people that are still believers of live music and they want to support it. So I think we're headed in the right direction. Mm. Man. The, the new direction is the right direction, I believe. And I'm, I'm being optimistic and as positive as I can be, you know, mm. uh, you have, you have to be. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you can, you can choose. I believe every day when we wake up in the morning, we, we choose to go with the flow, which is, we know what that flow is. Everybody's mm. really, it's had enough. It's negative. It's dark. It's really pessimistic and there's no hope or whatever, or, we can choose and 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 be grateful for what we have and what we've accomplished mm. and where we're headed and be uh, proactive and be a little bit of the light through, you know and when you're walking through the tunnel maybe you're the light you can bring that that little bit of light into situations mm. so so that's what it is man i i choose to do that and trust me it's not always it's not 100% yeah. like that all the time I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm only human and I get dragged down and I get beat up and, but I, I always shake myself up off and then I keep moving, man. It's, it's just how it is, you know, gotta be that way for me. Yeah. No, it's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and I imagine you had to kind of approach the writing for the album a bit differently with it being kind of all these restrictions and all this sort of stuff. If you write it, started writing in 2019. <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, no, well, you know, when we got together, we first at at the beginning of nineteen, it was the first time that I dedicated time and supported my last album, Viva La Rock, mm. which which had a lot of steam and it was so well received and reviews were great and the live shows, were, the reviews for the live shows were great. Uh, this is my first year away from the Dead Daisies for a long time, for five yeah. or six years. Mm. So I could really dedicate time and energy into focusing on my solo career. And I had a new album, well, relatively new, that came out in 18. Mm. So 19 became the focus. And uh, by June, July, the label was saying, hey, let's let's pick, would you, are you interested in picking up the second option? And I said, yes, because... You know, I love the last album. I love what you did with the first album. So let's 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 roll the dice again. Mm. And so we so we had no idea what was coming. You know, so we got together in September. I always work with. I've been working with Soren in Copenhagen at his studio, Medley Studios, which is, by the way, one of the state of the art studios. Mm. And I worked in a lot of studios, a lot of big, famous ones, and all that. And uh, they got to be one of the top studios in that 
and Scandinavia and that whole yeah. area. Yeah, so cool. I go there for a lot of reasons for that reason. And because Soren is there, he's a partner. Uh, he's a, a, a part owner of the studio. So him and I have a great working relationship and it's a great working environment. So it's very productive in so many ways. So before I started my tour in Germany, I said, this is my schedule. Can we meet? Can we get together? And we had like six days, maybe mm, seven, God. maybe a week. And we got together and we wrote maybe 65, 70% of the songs, you know, then. And then he went off. He's touring all over the place too, uh, mm. playing with everybody. And we reconvened. We said, let's get together again in December. After we finish our touring, yes. we'll be a little... Uh, how naive we were thinking after we've been touring, we'll be restful and we can be focused and all that. But when we connected again in December, we were both fried, yeah. like toast, toast. And we looked at each other. We did a few days of work and we just said, you know, the holidays are upon us. Let's take a break. Let's, let's pick it up again in February. And I remember February 27th, my, my flight was booked. Mm. And the rest is history. Yeah. So, exactly, yeah. so it never happened, Joe, until uh, June of twenty one. Oh wow! Yeah, quite a gap. Yeah, that's yeah. So to say that I'm surprised and glad that the album's getting released uh, through all the adversity and obstacles and. Mm. Uh, you know, and then I hear the album and it's it's been so well received. I'm excited, man. I'm really excited and proud and and proud to be back out mm -hmm. on the road and uh, and all that. But uh, no, we had no idea. It was nobody did, man. So funny enough, uh, we look at the songs and we're going, how apropos, man, how relevant are these songs, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like, what a trip. So uh, you know, call it whatever you want. I call it fate. Um, I always learn to roll with the flow. And there's a purpose here. And I don't want to get too deep, but there's a purpose behind yeah. the writing and the songs and what's going on. So so we're hoping uh, to make a little bit of a difference out there. That's that's my goal every show. You know, I, I always hope that I can bring a little bit of sunshine and, and some bright colors, if you will, to, yeah. to, to what seems to be um, you know, the hard climb, man, for all of us. So for a couple hours, you can get away, uh, escape, and uh, have a good time. Mm. And, maybe, and maybe walk away with a good message, you know, a little bit of optimism in you and a smile on your face. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So that's, that's, that's my goal. But yeah, man, we're just, we just get together and we just do what gets in front of us. There's no preconceived ideas or plans or songs or direction. We just get together and we start writing immediately mm. i mean it's like yeah it's like that yeah, nice. um, yeah and is it kind of a different approach to writing your solo stuff as opposed to something like dead daisies or is it kind of yeah well the dead daisies was put together to be a collective meaning um everybody every participant every member of the band and in, in and that's those days there was five of us mm. uh um we all will get around get around the table, guitars, acoustic guitars at hand. I bring acoustic bass. Uh, and uh, yeah, collectively, we throw ideas in the melting pot. And we always write, we come out with, I don't know, I would say 20 to 25 ideas mm. that are almost finished, 85% finished or whatever. And then our producer, um, who did uh, the last two albums, Marty, Marty Fredrickson, would also be there and he would say, after two or three writing days of ses session, writing sessions, mm. uh, we we would all agree, let's pick these, 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 and these okay. are the ones that we go in. So it is different. With Soren and I, it's a little quicker. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying that it's better or easier or harder or whatever. It's just different, you know. And then I've written with cats that are songwriters. They're just songwriters, man. Yes. And, and, and for me... To be part of that, I just stay out of the way yeah. because because they're like so focused and and they come out with some beautiful music. So it's it's a lot of different dynamics depending on the situation. But you learn to compensate and uh, navigate mm. and adjust, and adjust, you know. 
But that was the beauty, beautiful thing about the Daisies. It was a band. It was really a band. It was five yeah. cats that would collectively throw ideas and vocal ideas. And, and at some point we were doing lyrics together and melodies and yeah. this and that. And uh, so that's cool. With us, because it's a solo project, Soren being my producer and my song, writing partner mm. uh guitar player engineer uh, mixer the whole thing uh him and i make decisions so it's quicker it's yeah. and we log and it's very very sincere man it's very honest we don't overanalyze stuff we just know when something's working we document it yeah um, and if we're looking for a certain section and we st start throwing ideas and this doesn't it sounds okay but not right and then that sounds okay, but not right. And then when, when something just clicks, we look at each other and go, that's the one, boom. Yeah. So it's it's a faster process, yes. And since he's the producer, um, <clears throat> yet again, you know, it's between him and I, then we bring the players in and we mm. play the songs. So we get the templates, if you will, the arrangements, the whole thing. And then we bring the drummer and we do the rhythm section. We pretty much play the arrangements and sometimes the drummer comes in <clears throat> because of time constraints mm. <clears throat> he does he plays with whatever's there with a okay, drum with, yeah. a, with a with a click and a drum machine uh but great players man and soren has to his beck and call he's got the cream of the crop man he's got the best players available and mm. it just at a, a phone call away it's kind of like la to be honest Copenhagen yeah. is, is surrounded by a lot of talented folks. So, so yes, it's very different. The process is different, and it's quicker, and it's more. Uh, 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 I wouldn't say more productive, but it is a faster process. You know, mm. I like to work fast. For me, when it comes to music, there's there's two schools. You know, one is play, learn the song, record it, boom, be done. The other one is play, learn the song, play again, learn the song again, adjust, learn the song, learn, change yeah. that, learn the song again, <laughs> boom. And um, and so when you have time available and uh, everybody's available, then that's cool to do that, to take your time. It's like baking a cake, you know? You gotta make sure that it's that it's right before you pull it out of the oven. Mm. We, bake, we bake our cakes quick, boom. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, two hours, boom, done. Yeah. Next, next, that kind of thing. So, so it's like that, man. It's uh, it's all good. Great experience. Yeah. Great, great experience. Mm, yeah. Sounds it, yeah. Um, and obviously you put out uh, three singles now. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of goes into the decision to choose, oh, I'm going to release this as, say, the lead single for the album. I want to put these out beforehand. <laughs> Is there any kind of specific things you hear and go, okay, that would make a good kind of single or? We, well, I think with Viva, the previous album, the first song that was written was Viva La Rock, which is, you know, uh, in, in reality, Soren and I got together and then the, within the hour, an hour and a half, the song was done mm. and, we, and we sent the demo to a label and they loved it. And they said, this is the title for the album. This is the first single. Oh, cool. um, so it kind of repeated itself when we got together again. The first song that was written was Take It to the Limit. Mm. And it was sent to the label again within hours of the first time we got together. Okay. And Michael uh, Anderson, he said, this is great. This is the single. This is the title for the album. Mm. Let's go with this. So the single in the name of the album was planned accordingly. It was it was plan it was the decision was made based on that process yes. right uh but you know 20 came 21 and i did a few runs or, uh, under the take it to the limit uh heading mm. uh and so we decided to change it around and uh, also look at what how relevant these other songs are to what's going on mm. and call it new direction which is a great song i believe great reception yeah. uh, and reaction um, instead of, uh, you know, calling a take to the limit, which was overused already. 
So yeah. that was that was the thing. But it's the label. The label, you know, they're they're the pros. They 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 have a lot of experience. And then we decide. We kind of pitch. I would I would love to see these singles. You know, this is you know yeah. I believe the album's got more than three singles to be honest. But logistics and decision making and yeah. all that. So it's uh it's got to go through a due process. But but yeah, I remember taking to the limit was a done deal. That was going to be released uh and that's the first single uh but we decided to rename the album for the third single mm. shoot for the shoot for the stars the label really loved it and it's a it's a memorable song in that you hear it one time and people dig it yeah it's a good good vibe it's got the poppy thing and then um new direction being the the title cut made sense mm. so so that's what it was man but yeah it's a it's back and forth ideas and suggestions and then for me i to be honest i have a great team of people working with me and i put my two cents in and then i take a few steps back yeah and then uh i either agree with the process or i put you know my two cents back in and say well could we try that then i take a few steps back and that's what it is. It's all about trust and and knowing that people are pros and they're making the right decision. Yes. And then and then you just let it go. So I think I think those three choices were good. I think mm. they were good. Uh there's um yeah, there's a I don't know, two, maybe three, four other songs that I would consider as well. Yeah. But but these are working just fine, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's a trip. Yeah. It's all good, man. Um, mm. And you mentioned that you've obviously got a tour that you're announcing soon. Is it just kind of tour for the rest of the year now? I imagine to support the album. Yeah, yeah. We we start uh, <clears throat> um, next week. I do uh, I do uh, a festival in Romania. Oh, cool! Pretty pretty important one, a big one. And then and then we start in Germany on yeah, the beginning of September. Oh, nice. Yeah, not far yeah, away. Yeah. So, no. So, and then we're booked all of September, October, November through November 24th, I believe, 25th. Mm. Yeah, wow. But there's some other dates. It's been like, uh, it's a trip, Joe. It's like, you know, we started with 20 dates. Now it's this and then, mm. and then we get more and we get two more and three more. <laughs> Yesterday, I booked two more. Time, yeah. so, so it's like that. It's like, when you announce that you are going out, people are aware of it, and then you start getting invited. Well, you're here. Why don't you come here? And mm. that's that's the process. But uh, but I'm really looking forward to coming to the UK. Obviously, I love coming there. Mm. We have we have some great friends and fans and people that have been supporting my career since 1935. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. So I really feel their presence and their support everywhere, man. It's a trip. So, mm. so, so you guys are great, man. You are, you, you know, um, it's always a blast for mm. me coming to the UK. Always. Yeah. I'll definitely be there anyway, wherever the, the closest one is. Yeah. Please come and let mm. us know what we can do to take care of you. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, And then just as a kind of, closing question um mm -hmm. do you have any advice that you could give a band that are kind of just starting out whether it be you know <laughs> something to kind of get their foot in the door or some stuff not to do i've had quite a lot of that recently <laughs> the, the the not to do this is very simple for me uh because i did it the wrong way but um pay attention man pay attention to what's going on do it for the right reason mm -hmm. these are the to do's do it for the right reason. Do it because you love the music and be, do it because you're passionate yeah. about it. Yeah. And you, you, you are, you have goal, goals. You know, you set goals, short-term goals, long-term goals. Be focused, be willing to put the time in, the blood, sweat, and tears, because there will be some blood, sweat, and tears. <clears throat> and remember that I always like to say sometimes the music for me is its own reward. It's mm. just... You know, with uh, after all the logistics, after all the logistics and all the changes and all the traveling and all the financial, you know, fears and all this and that, uh, 
when I get up on stage and I can get away from all that and let the music take me places, that's my reward. Mm -hmm. And it keeps me, it keeps me coming back. So I would suggest that make sure, make sure you put the time in, you put the work in and also be, be okay with letting it go when it becomes frustrating. I think there's something to be said about learning stuff when you're having fun, when your attitude is open, yeah, you, you will accomplish a lot more. Uh, but um, the not to do's for me, and oh, and the and to do's is you have to believe in yourself, no matter what yeah. your surroundings are, who the people are, how they're talking to you, what they're doing. Human nature tends to bring each other down. That's what we do. Stay away from those people. Uh-huh gravitate towards people that support you, that give you positive energy, that are willing to do anything and everything to support you, your parents, your friends, your, you know, colleagues. Uh, uh, and believe in yourself. You can't expect anybody else to support you if you can't support yourself and believe yeah. in what you're doing. So be committed and believe in it. And long-term goals, short-term goal. The not to do is very simple, man. Don't drink. Don't do any drugs. Don't do anything that that's mind altering that could impede your ability to be there yeah. and to be as productive as you can be, because it's been proven. And I went through it, man. I, I want. I don't want to say I wasted ten, fifteen years out of my life, but I went through hell, mm. and and uh, I came out of it, thank God. But you know, I often think, what would have happened if I would have just stayed on the right side of the street you know? mm. and especially now the reality is there's hundreds if not thousands of projects and bands and artists that want to be in your place yeah so so if you start goofing up and start drinking and not showing up on time respect the music be disciplined about it yeah respect the environment respect the industry when you start goofing off people are going to say next exactly and, yeah and there's and there's hundreds right right behind you mm-hmm. waiting for the opportunity to take over so those are the things man but but also be honest with yourself about the music take time record it document it and then get away for it from it for a few days and then listen to it and go is this something you believe in is this, mm-hmm. are you cool can you improve it can you do this can you do that so it's one of those things it's ever changing you know so but believe in yourself as much as you can and don't let the, the bad stuff bring you down. There's going to be bad stuff that will test you. Stay away from drugs and alcohol mm-hmm. and work, 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 practice, 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 and book as many live shows as you can. Yeah. And I know sometimes it's very hard because the finances are not there. But human nature is like this. When we want something, we make it happen. Yeah. So you gotta, so you gotta want it really bad, and that's at the core, you know. Mm. That's a long answer. <laughs> it's all good advice, though. Yeah, but but it's true, you know. I've, mm. I've lived, I've lived it. I've been in and out of it, and uh, so it's like that. I I really believe that today I'm here because I got sober 34 years ago. Mm. You know, September 20th will be 35 years. So yeah, it's right. a big part of mm. it's a big part of who I am and where I'm at today. Yeah. You know, I'm not perfect, not by a long shot. I'm, but you know, when I have things that I, my shortcomings that I need to work on, there's I'm staring right at them. So I decide, okay, I need to start working on this crap. You know, yeah. When you're under the influence, you don't have the right radar. On, the, your radar is off. Mm. So, so. These days, you really have to be on point, man. Be really focused and be, you know, uh, dedicate as much time as you can to it. Mm. And it will pay off. It will in one form or the other. So. Mm. Yeah, all good advice. I'm on that-